today we would like to teach you an important exam topic of anterior segment called pseudo exfoliation syndrome in the picture above in the video you can see the white fluffy material at the pupillary border it is basically an age related systemic disease in which gradual deposition of fibrillary white flaky material occurs on the anterior lens capsule zanules iris pupillary margin anterior chamber angle corneal endothelium as well as subconjunctival tissue these deposits are also found in skin heart lungs liver and kidneys myocardial infarction stroke and systemic hypertension is associated with pseudo exfoliative patients risk factors are age more than 70 years scandinavian race the secondary open angle glaucoma occurs in pseudo exfoliative patients glaucoma and cataract surgery are the two major ocular concerns in pseudo exfoliation syndrome diagnosis is clinical by slit limb examination and intraocular pressure measurement you can find the white fluffy material on the pupil margin in the video you can see the ring in a ring like pattern we have shown you on the oblique slit as well as on the retro illumination the ring like circles can be clearly seen here you can see on the retro illumination as well so the pupil is poor poorly dilating the fluffy material is on the anterior lens capsule there is raised intraocular pressure in majority of the cases the trans illumination defects near pupillary border now here uh, on the retro illumination you can see how the there is a ring pattern the question asked in exams are the uh, uh, how to differentiate it from the true exfoliation now the true exfoliation is caused by heat from glass blowing or infrared radiation exposure to the anterior lens capsule now uh, in the pseudo exfoliation the patients are usually symptomless until or unless they comes to the ophthalmologist or optometrist for refractive error correction cataract surgery or visual field effects from the secondary open angle glaucoma and they are then diagnosed as a case of pseudo exfoliation so if you get an exam case of pseudo exfoliation you need to check vision intraocular pressure pupil reaction because pu pupil is constricted and poorly reactive trans illumination defects at the pupillary margins a gonioscopy for open angle and white fibrillary deposition in angle anterior lens capsule and cupped disc ratio should also be seen now differential diagnosis for the lens capsule uh, is a true exfoliation that is already discussed that is present in glass blowers or infrared exposure whereas the pigment deposition glaucoma and iris trans illumination defects can also be found in pigment dispersion and glaucoma and the differences are that the pigment dispersion patients are young whereas pseudo exfoliative are old they are myopic and Kruckenberg spindles deposition of uh, pigment on the endothelium there is a deep anterior chamber and the peripheral iris trans illumination defects in pigment dispersion whereas pupillary trans illumination defects in pseudo exfoliation so the treatment now here you can see in a video a very severe case of pseudo exfoliation there are spheroidal degenerations there is a pterygium as well you can see the white fibrillary material all around the pupil and you can see the atrophic iris and even there are some whitish material on endothelium so the treatment for secondary open angle glaucoma is tropical anti-glaucoma drops then laser trabeculoplasty then trab with or without glaucoma drainage devices for cataract surgery pre-op you should determine the zanular weakness the lens subluxation iridodonesis phacodonesis anterior chamber depth iris atrophy poor iris dilatation uh, intraoperatively for small pupil NSAIDs are given 
to discourage intraoperative meiosis, uh, tropicamide, phenylephrine, topical drops, intracameral adrenaline, cohesive viscoelastic, uh, and then iris hooks and pupillary rings. CTR for mild zenular dehiscence, de Sioni modified CTR or capsular tension segment CTS for more marked dehiscence. Capsulorexis, there is a difficulty in capsulorexis. The capsule is thickened and resistant, so sharp instrument is uh, used to give the nick to start capsulorexis. The size of CCC should not be very small because FACO is very difficult and should not be very large. So ideally, it should be between 5.5 to 6.5 millimeter diameter. Slow hydrodissection, low power, low vacuum, FACO emulsification should be done make sure anterior chamber is maintained and not collapsed at any time to avoid tension on the zenules post op iop spikes are common so they should be managed with topical anticoagulant drops the complications are nucleus drop posterior capsule rupture zenular damage iol uh, subluxation so here you can see the uh, non-reactive pupils uh, in a pseudo exfoliation uh, syndrome you can see the pupil is mid dilated and non-reactive so I hope uh, that's more than enough uh, for the pseudo exfoliation syndrome and after watching this video you will be able to not only diagnose but manage the glaucoma and cataract in pseudo exfoliation patients Thank you very much.